Hi everyone, welcome to EduFacts. Dear aspirants of Gurukula School of uh, TGT Biology or PGT Biology, I welcome to my channel. Then in this session, we shall discuss about the 8th class syllabus. Uh, the topic is cell, the basic unit of life. Let us see friends, cell biology is a very very important topic in all the competitive exams related to bioscience. So the keen observation and the keen attention should be needed to conquer school assistant biology or TGT or PGT biology. Let us get into the video to discuss about the things. Right. The topic is cell, the basic unit of life. Usually when we talk about cell, we usually remember that all the cells are, sorry, all the living organisms are made up of cells. Not only they are made up of cells, each and every living organism, it carried out, it carried out its functions by means the function of the cell so that the cell is called as structural and the functional unit of an organism so we can say the cell is the structural and functional unit cell is the structural and the functional unit of an organism in this video purely we will discuss about we shall discuss about only the syllabus which is given in 8th class standard. In this 8th class standard, we can see the different components in it, like uh, here it is discussed about discovery of cell, and cell and its only three parts are discussed in this syllabus of 8th standard. Cell membrane, cell wall, cytoplasm, nucleus, and the types of cells as unicellular and multicellular and different sizes of the cells. It, these are the parts discussed in the syllabus. So let us see how the discovery happened. Yes, that was the year 1665. That was the year 1665. Robert Hooke, a scientist called Robert Hooke, a scientist called Robert Hooke, for the first time, he observed the cell through the microscope. So actually he observed the cell of a oak plant bark, oak plant bark, bark, oak, oak plant bark was observed by Robert Hooke for the first time in 1665 and he observed through the microscope and he noticed that honey hive like structure and that honey each honey hive like structure he named it as cell actually the latin word cell means little room it's a little room okay so the first step was taken place by Robert Hooke in cell biology. So this oak plant bark, bark obviously they are dead cells. So the first dead cell was observed by Robert Hooke at the same time after a few years in the year of 1674, a scientist called Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek, Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek, Yes, he noticed for the first time a living cells, like bacterial cells, living cell. So the first living cell was observed by Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek in the year 1674. So this discovery was given in this portion. Next, and when we talk about the structure of the cell, we all know that each and every cell is surrounded by a layer called as cell membrane. 
then this is also called as plasma membrane right each and every cell is surrounded with a layer which is called plasma membrane or cell membrane usually this plasma membrane and cell membrane or cell membrane is made up of proteins and lipids so this plasma membrane the main components in plasma uh, in plasma membrane are proteins and lipids and this we know that in addition to the cell membrane or plasma membrane a cell wall is present cell wall is present in plant cells cell wall is only appear in plant cells it doesn't appear in animal cells cell wall is a very rigid and tough cell this cell wall usually made up of a cellulose a carbohydrate called cellulose right these are the outer covering layer this is the outer cell wall is the outer covering layer in plants whereas plasma membrane is the outer covering layer in animal cells right that is discussed here and we all know is a dense part present in the cell is called nucleus this dense dark part we can see as nucleus in the cell when we talk about nucleus nucleus is the controlling unit of the cell usually this cell nucleus is known as cell brain because it controls all the functions carried out by the cell hence nucleus is usually called as cell brain then when we talk about nucleus nucleus was first observed by a scientist called robert brown robert brown in the year of 1831 he noticed a dense part in the middle of the cell is known as nucleus then afterwards after several observations and several studies we can we can we can are uh, able to understand that nucleus contains genetical matter genetical matter is present in nucleus after several observations we can conclude like that and based on the number of the cells present in an organism usually the organisms are <clears throat> classified into two kinds one is unicellular organisms and the second one is multicellular organisms based on the number based on the number in the organism it is known as uh, two types of organisms are found one is unicellular organism and the second one is multicellular organism unicellular organism is nothing but it is a single cell single cell can carry out each and every function of the organism then those are called as single cell or unicellular organism we can see we can say the best example of unicellular as amoeba amoeba as we know it is a protozoan right it has pseudopodia in it right pseudopodia pseudo means false podia means food means it is false food it is actually not food but the function of pseudopodia is uh, in the locomotion the function of pseudopodia is in the locomotion and as well as in searching of food in searching of food and in the locomotions these are the main functions of pseudopodia right so unicellular organisms means it's a single cell organism amoeba paramecium euglena chlamydomonas right like this these are the param these are the unicellular organisms coming to multicellular organisms multicellular organism means multi means many more than one cell more than one cell the organism which contains more than one cells is known as multicellular organism 
usually many cells are present in it like all plant cells right animal cells these are all multicellular organisms then in this chapter it is also discussed about the sizes and shapes of various cells see muscle cells are different in size and different in shape blood cells they are different in cells nerve cells they are different in cell means based on their function based on their structure they are different in they are in different shapes and structures when we talk about the sizes of the uh, sizes of the cells they are very very minute and each maximum means more most of the cells cannot be seen with our naked eye they can be seen through an through a tool or, or, or a, a instrument called microscope we all know microscope was first discovered by jacarius janssen right so the sizes of the cells are different from one to another for example if you see the uh, size of the bacteria bacterial cell the size of bacterial cell is very very smaller like 0.1 to 0.5 microns or micrometers then <clears throat> in our human body 20 to 30 microns of kidney cells are liver cells liver cell size or kidney size cell is 20 to 30 micro micrometers or microns then when we discuss about nerve cell nerve cell is the longest cell in our body it is the longest cell and it has the size of uh, uh, it it has very very long about 90 to 100 centimeters it's very long and it can be visible with our unaided eye also then uh, the largest cell the largest cell ever known that the egg of ostrich ostrich egg usually the size of the ostrich is ostrich egg is 18 into 17 into 18 centimeters this much so it is the largest cell right the smallest cell is our uh, bacterial cell uh, which is 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 uh, microns see <clears throat> dear friends you see size of the cell is very very small a size of an animal or size size of an organism depend on the number of cells present in it number of cells it is depend on number of cells but not size of the cells for example if you if you compare human being and an elephant human being cells are not like and elephant cells are not like they are both minute they are very very small so the size of the organism is depend on the number of cells present in the organism this is what the eighth class second lesson cell the basics unit of life and the next in the next video we shall go to the next topic of eighth class standard see you all and if you really like this video please share it and support me and sure please give me a like and subscribe my channel if you are new thank you very much